Hi there, this is Avalon from Craftstrat, and I'm really excited because today I get to share with you one of my favorite projects. This is a half wooden circle with some extra macrame that's hanging on the bottom, and I just love this piece. I think it turned out really stunning, and I think it's a great little accent piece to add to any wall or space in your home. Follow along and I will show you step by step how you can make this project. The first thing that you're going to do is grab your wooden half circle and your basswood strip and you will lay it at the bottom of the half circle and you want it to be on the flat side of the half circle. You are going to line it up with the bottom of it and you want to cut the basswood to the size of the half circle. So then you'll take your X-Acto knife and cut where you need to meet the edge of the half circle. Next, you will grab your walnut wood tint and you will stain both the half circle and the basswood strip. Make sure that you cover all sides of the basswood strip and on the half circle, you wanna make sure that you cover the front of it and then all of the sides as well, but no need to do the back. Next, you will cut a 18 inch piece of macrame. And then from there, you can kind of use that as your guide as you cut more pieces of 18 inch long macrame. For this project, I ended up using about 56 pieces of macrame. It's up to you if you want to cut those 56 pieces all at once. Otherwise, you can do them in small batches tie them on and then cut more macrame, but I personally ended up using 56 pieces. Once you've cut the macrame, you will then tie it onto the basswood strip. To begin, you will fold the macrame in half. You want the loop to be at the top. You'll set it on top of the basswood strip with the loop sticking up at the top. Bring the loop towards the back on the other side of the basswood strip and then pull the ends of the string through that loop and then pull it out towards the front and pull tight. You will continue to use those steps to tie on the macrame and you will continue to do that until you have all the pieces of your macrame on the basswood strip. Once you start getting towards the end and you don't have as much room, you wanna make sure that you push all the knots close together and towards the middle so that none of them fall off the ends of the wood. And then when you get to the end, you can space out your knots more appropriately. And then on each end of the wood, you want to adhere the macrame with some hot glue just so that you know that both ends are secured and won't fall off the ends. 
flip the half wooden circle over so that the curved part is towards you or facing you. And then you're going to lay your macrame on top of the half wood circle. You are going to want the flat part to be lined up with the macrame. And then it's important that all the macrame is brushed out and laying straight because the next thing we are going to do is cut the macrame along the edges of the rounded part of the half circle. Once we finish, we will then be flipping our macrame around to be creating the other half of the circle. So we want this to be pretty equal, equally sized to the wooden half circle that we have. So you're just gonna cut right along that edge and just take your time with it. Flip the half wood circle over so that the flat edge is facing you and then line up the wood strip with the macrame. You are then going to take hot glue to add to the top of the wood strip with macrame that's tied on. And then you are going to adhere it to the flat edge of the half wooden circle. Once the glue dries, you will then flip your project over and add glue to the back as well. You're gonna wanna put glue where the macrame meets the wood piece. This is just to make sure that the macrame is really adhered. Next, you will take a sawtooth hanger and attach it to the back of the half wood circle and do that by using a hammer. Hang your project up and then take a scissors to trim any ends of the macrame that may need any cleaning up. Once it looks as you like, your project is then ready to be hung up and displayed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the supplies needed to make this project at craftsdirect.com projects.